in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you see a compilation of parables. Everything Jesus said was a parable. What is a parable? A parable is using earthly stories to try to bring spiritual truth. And in the, in, in, in the Jewish community, you use parable for infants, for babies who cannot handle mature talk. So you use parable for them. It's like nursery school. They don't use words. They use pictures. So parables are like trying to use, you know, um, uh, natural stories to paint spiritual realities. For example, when that is not understood, certain concepts are communicated to the body of Christ wrongly. When you hear about uh, arresting the arrester, when you hear such a concept as a program in the church, know that the people are about to be tormented. You don't arrest the arrester. Jesus arrested the arrester. Where do they get that from? When a strong man fully armed keep at his palace, his goods are in peace. But when the stronger than he shall come, he will spoil him and, and take away his goods. So that they say the devil is a strong man and it is our responsibility to bind the strong man. But when Jesus said that parable, he had not died. What was Jesus implying? That there is a strong man that has taken mankind captive but when i the stronger die i will disarm him and i will collect mankind from his hold so when jesus died colossians 2 15 having spoiled principalities and powers he made a public show we are not the ones arresting the arrester the arrester has already arrested him I don't know if I'm teaching here. Jesus destroyed the devil. So that already knocks off a lot of so-called spiritual warfare in the church. But if this understanding is not communicated, the church will be made to pray before the cross. You didn't hear me. The church will be made to pray before the cross, making useless what the cross accomplished. You didn't hear what I said. The church will be made to pray before the cross, making useless what the cross has accomplished. I am not here to spoil Satan. Because Jesus spoiled him 2,000 years ago and he didn't spoil him like as in physical fight. Because over the years, dramatic preachers have taught us and some of us even preached this some years ago because we were lazy to study our bibles that jesus entered hell as soon as he entered satan was sitting down jesus said what are you doing here satan said you too what brought you here that's nollywood or bollywood or hollywood then jesus told satan now listen i have come to teach you a lesson satan said me we shall see who shall teach you a lesson then jesus said sai kwa poo jesus gave him kung fu satan did ah then Jesus threw another one. They said, I did. Ah, that is a Nollywood drama. That's not the scriptures. There was no such conflict between Jesus and Satan. It has never been. Satan cannot stand Jesus. Hey! He fit in. He can't in. Read your Bible very well. Satan has never been to hell till today he has never been to hell till today because hell is reserved when you see reserve it means nobody can enter there it is kept until the appointed time or the appointed owner satan has never been to hell so where has satan been going to and fro why hasn't satan gone to hell because satan is operating with adam's lease he collected adam's place he's functioning with adam's lease that's why in the gospels when jesus showed up evil spirits cried out we know who you are have you come to torment us before they know their time they know that they are here on lease For these and other messages and books by Dr. Abel Daminer, please call plus 234-806-800-9939 or email office at powercityinternational.org.